Hello, my name is Jay Chandre. I'm a professor of genome sciences at the University of Washington and also an investigator of the Howard Hughes Medical Institute. Uh, I was the 2019 winner of the Richard Lounsbury Award from the National Academy of Sciences. Uh, I received the award for my lab's contributions to the second wave of genomics that is transforming uh, genetics and medicine. Um, I'll just highlight two lines of work that I, I think have been or, or have the potential to be particularly impactful. Uh, the first is our development of exome sequencing. Uh, and our demonstration of how its application uh, to just a handful of individuals can be used to identify the causal genes for a Mendelian disorder. Uh, we first demonstrated this paradigm in 2009 on a dominant disorder where we knew the right answer in advance um, called Freeman-Sheldon syndrome. Uh, we then went on to apply it to a recessive disorder, Miller syndrome, and then a dominant disorder, Kabuki syndrome, uh, both of which represented novel gene discoveries. Um, in the subsequent decade, uh, the strategy or its derivatives have been used to solve hundreds of uh, Mendelian disorders. Uh, the second line of work I'll briefly highlight is more recent um, and involves our development of exponentially scalable methods for single cell profiling, as well as for lineage tracing at the scale of the whole organism. So uh, roughly 40 years ago, John Selston and colleagues uh, heroically reconstructed the complete embryonic lineage of the roundworm C. elegans, essentially um, with a microscope, pen, and paper, and a lot of patience. Um, and the Selston lineage provides a precise nomenclature and a comprehensive scaffold for the worm uh, dev bio community. Um, and using this, uh, uh, this new generation of technologies that we've developed, our dream is to achieve an equivalently comprehensive representation of development for much more complex model organisms, uh, including but not limited to the mouse, um, which is, of course, the leading model organism for studying human development. And um, if we're successful, uh, it may turn out that DNA sequencing uh, will make it possible not only to comprehensively genotype an organism, um, but also to comprehensively phenotype it as well. Uh, and thanks for thanks for listening.